Hey crafty friends and planner babes, today we are planning in my classic happy planner for the month of June. June is pride month and I did a pride, nice pride spread uh, last year in my planner for the month, on the monthly. And then I always do a page uh, for a weekly page in my planner as well. So I am a huge supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, so I always like to give them a shout out and do a special page or two in my planner to support, uh, them. So for this, um, uh, spread, I'm actually, I got quite a bit going on this month, but I have had these, this is us die cut stickers. These I picked up a couple years ago at Michael's, um, and it has all these really nice stickers. So I did pick out some uh, Let Love Shine, of course, the unicorn, Love is Love, and Love and Pride. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use all of these or not, but I do have a little empty spot here. And I do have an empty spot here that, like, uh, I definitely will probably use the Pride here. And maybe put like pride and then maybe hand draw month or something in here. So, and then these other ones, you know, where I don't have a lot going on, I could add them. So I do have these to use. And then I also grabbed out the Rainbow Dream sticker book because it has to be rainbow in this monthly spread. So let's go ahead and pull these pages off. My son is currently doing a fundraiser with the Trevor Project for the 51 mile run. I hope I'm saying that right. So he's got a little fundraiser going on over on his Facebook page to raise money for the Trevor Project, which is awesome. All right, so I do know that I have these. I have my list of things going on this month, which is a lot of things. So I want to go ahead and grab some wax paper to get some boxes. All right, so I have, let's see, one, two, three birthdays plus mine. So I have four birthdays. Um, I have two anniversaries and let's see, then of course there's Father's Day and then my grandpa's birthday is on the 5th, which is going to be an extremely hard day since he's no longer with us. So I definitely need boxes. So I'm not going to worry about putting my bills on heat, on my classic because I put my bills in my um, budget planner. So I definitely want some larger boxes for the birthdays. So I have, again, I've got one, two, three, four. So I need four, maybe square boxes. Let's see, hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. I do have these like fun diamonds. So I don't see anything but these really big ones are these here. I mean, that's not too bad. I want lots of room to decorate. So let's maybe do, I said I had four and I've got four. Let's just use these. That would be fun. So we'll put these for the birthdays. I also have these monthlies that I can use, the monthly boxes. And then I have these like flags. Do I have bullet points in here? I don't think so. I wanna use different boxes for the anniversaries. Oh, I do have these. That's not a lot of room to write two people's names and anniversary. All 
All right. I guess I could just use a heart, maybe. Let's take two out, and maybe I'll do that. I'm not sure. So I might have to pull another sticker book out. Let me grab the monthly colorful boxes. Or I could just make my own boxes and then make them the colors I want. Maybe I want to do that. I do think I want to use this one, though, for my birthday. So let's put this back. And let's make some boxes. Let me grab my punch. Let me grab my punch, and then I'm going to grab some white paper, and I'll be right back. All right, so I wanted to show you what I did was I just used my Happy Planner Classic Punch and punched out a piece of white cardstock. And then I'm just going to trim it in half. I'm not measuring. My lines are probably not going to be straight. I'm perfectly okay with that. And then um, I just take some sort of scrap, like this is an envelope I had messed up on. And these markers are nice because they have like this flat tip. And then again, it's not, it's not anything I'm not measuring. I'm just taking my marker at the edge of the paper and making my own colorful box. So I have blue, so I've made all the colors. So I just need to do a purple. kind of fun isn't it looks like art all right so I have made a box for every color so I have those boxes <clears throat> so well now we need a box for um, birthdays I think I'll still use these for birthdays and I'm still going to use this box I think for my birthday let's go ahead and get started let's start putting down the functional stuff first and let's see let me white out that Got Pride Day written down and summer begins. This, my um, thing is not working well today. All right, and then let's see. I've got some other things in here, but I'm going to leave those for now. So let's start with red. Ugh. I don't want to start with red. Let's do blue. My grandpa did not like red, so I'm not going to put red on his birthday. So let's do blue. They don't have to be in the right order. All right, so the fifth is my grandpa's birthday. All right, and then we need... Something on the 11th, but let me put my birthdays down first. Then I have a birthday on the 26th, or 20, uh, yeah, I have a birthday on the 26th, which is my friend Boyce's birthday. I'm trying to use white out. Where is my brain? All right, on the 26th. And then I need one for the 22nd, which is my friend Danny's birthday. And that will cover up well, 100th anniversary of Brave. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to look into that. We're going to put that there. And actually, I think I'm going to use the purple box that I made to, to kind of go with these. 
So I'm going to put the Burpa one on my birthday, which is Friday the 24th. And I'll probably grab like a balloon or something and add with this as well. All right. And I think that's the birthdays. Now we have anniversary. So I have two boxes left that I've made. I do have the first day of summer, which is the 21st. So actually, let me use, because I could make more boxes if I need to. Let's go ahead and use the yellow for the first day of summer. And then I have the festival that I'm going to on the 11th. Oh, and I also have Pride Day. which is the 28th. So let me use, let me use this box for Pride Day. Or do I want to make a rainbow box? Hmm, I think I want to make a rainbow box. So let's use this for, oh, we have Dad's Day. So we need to put this on Dad's Day. So put that for Father's Day and then do I want to use these for the anniversary? I think it would be neat to use something different. Um, let's see, we have an anniversary on the 13th. Oh, we also have an anniversary on the 22nd. That's tricky. I could put the... I could put the heart up here here and just ray extremely small that's what i'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to write really small i'm not sure if i'm gonna like that but that takes care of the anniversaries for now so then we still have pride day we have the festival i think that's it so all i, I need a box for the festival so let's use one of these rainbow boxes and i'll put that for the festival I wish I had a bigger one of these boxes for Pride Day because I love that it's a rainbow. Or, you know what? I have those cute rainbows and I could write in Pride Day. Or, let's see, these are going to take up too much room, I think. Let's see. Let's try it out. I think they're going to take up too much room. And overlap it and make them wonky. That would be so cool if I could get these to work. Could go off a little bit as well. Oh, I might be able to get it to work, guys. That would be awesome. We can kind of make the E go down. And then we just need to fit in day. Yay! I love that. So, let's see. Let's pull out the DAY and think, do I want to put something in between? Okay, let's see what we have. We do have, we have these like strips here that could potentially work. Let's pull one of these strips. That might work. And then let's maybe pull a rainbow. We have these cute heart strips too. Or I love this, you're amazing. Or love more. <gasps> Let's pull that one. Let's try that. Let's see if we can put maybe that here and then we'll do day there. Let's see if we can sort of center the A. And 
and I don't mind if this comes down out of the box a little bit. I love it. It's awesome. That is awesome. So let's see. I should have 10 boxes down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, that's all the important stuff down. So now I could add this. I definitely think I want to cover this up with something for sure. So maybe I should do that first. And if I add, if I cover it up with this, then that takes away from me being able to put Pride Month there. So let's see, can I cover it up with the unicorn? And then let's see. I could just put pride like that. It definitely would need to be like a box. Let's see what we have to work with. We have these. Let your light shine. You're golden. Find your happy. I think that would work to cover this up. I do need to white her out though because I can see her through the blue. All right, I think that's good enough. Hopefully I got that down straight on the first try. All right. Now, do I want to add the pride here and do pride month? Or just pride? And then maybe pride there, and then maybe love here. I need to make sure I have room to write here, and I gotta write here. I love this National Best Friends Day. I'm not into running, so these are so big though, they're gonna cover up the dates. I love this lap. Love is love, but I mean, it would. I mean, if I, I I'm not really using those days. At least not yet. There could be something that comes up though, so I don't want to take up a huge amount of room. I could put the let love shine here, and then add. Maybe love there. And then I have the unicorn that I could add like right here or something. I already have a lot going on here. So, or the unicorn could actually go down here as well. For that matter, I could add this here and then take these and put month for Pride Month. And that's really only covering up the seventh. Do love on the 16th and the 17th. And then maybe like I said, I'm not a runner. I don't care about covering up. I 
I don't know. I wish y'all could tell me what you think. I feel like the unicorn's kind of floating there. <laughs> but I'd have to put it down like here. And that would not let me put like National Friend Day. And then that's so close to the love. I do have love is love there. So not necessarily have to have love. I could just do the unicorn. That makes it look a little less cluttered. Or how about that? That's not too bad. I kind of like that. Let's go for it. I think I do want to maybe add this National Friends Day. Let me write that on my list here. So that's the 8th. So it's National... Friends Day, and then I'll add one of these other rainbow stickers on it. Right, so let's move you and use my white out. And let's grab another one of these. There we go. I feel like I need to cover up Global Runner's Day, but, or if I add the unicorn here, she'll cover up the ninth, but, kind of like that, actually. All right, let's start sticking stuff down before I change my mind. So, let's start with this Let Love Shine. <clears throat> Now, I wonder if there's a trick about getting the backings off of these. Alright, so we're going to do... I thought it took the whole backing, but it brought it in two pieces. Alright. So I could bring this down a little bit to cover up Disney, but I'm not worried about it saying Disney. There we go. Let love shine. So if you fold it, it's it's in two pieces to make it easier to peel the backing off, which is really cool. All right. Now, is it going to completely cover up National Runner's Day? Yes. There we go. And then we have the love is love. And I do want to put that as far up here as I can. Or does it matter? I guess I could center it. Because I'm already covering up the seventh no matter what. Alright. And then we have pride. And then I need to spell out month. I want to spell them out as straight as I can, so I'm going to use my ruler to help me with that. Let's see, we need M O N T and H. I wish these were clear stickers. All right, so then I'm going to take this and I'm going to try my best to center it with the pride. Get them on here straight. All 
Just press them down really good and then carefully lift up the ruler. There we go. And then you can press them down. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love how this turned out. So I think this is done. So let me grab my planner. I think I'm going to want to look at this all month. <laughs> I just, I love it. So. Go ahead and pop this back in. All right, there's one last look, guys, of how my June monthly turned out in my planner. I am obsessed. I absolutely love how this turned out. So thanks, guys, for stopping by and checking out this video. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.